Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's learning with Lego apps. Hi, I'm Guy Trainin, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge, and today we're going to talk about apps that help learn with Lego, and um, these are very, very different from each other, each one doing something different. And as LEGO is showing up in schools as a way to teach about technology and engineering, these are great apps to extend that learning beyond the interaction with the bricks without making the interaction with the bricks not important. The first one that I want to talk about is actually directly connected to building in LEGO, and this is building in LEGO Mindstorms, which is probably the most sophisticated LEGO that is out there and is being used in schools and in Africa after schools programs as well as people just having it at home. And in this one, what you can do is you can actually get the full directions about how to build different things in LEGO Mindstorm. So you can choose what thing you want to build, and if you click on it, it'll tell you the major steps, and then if you click on those major steps, you will actually get a step-by-step -step instruction of how to make that uh, piece and you can make it larger so you can see exactly the pieces that need to go. You can rotate it so you can look at it from different directions and you can see exactly where it is in that larger Lego creation. So this is a great way to get directions, to not have to track down those paper directions and if anything isn't clear, all you, can, all you have to do is make it larger or get a different dimension so you can actually see exactly what parts, where do they fit, and all of that in there. And you can see that there's also community, there's news about LEGO Mindstorms and other things about the apps, so you can actually get some help, including video that helps you to get the basic concepts of working with the app and building those very cool LEGO Mindstorms and then even programming them. So this is Lego Mindstorm 3D and a great guide to building your own robot out of Lego. The next one I want to talk about is the Fix the Factory Lego app. And in Fix the Factory Lego app, they're using Lego and the things you can do with Lego to actually teach basic programming ideas. We've had, in, we've had in the past apps that talked about programming and basic programming ideas, and this is very similar to those. That is, you have to set a series of commands that will make the LEGO person achieve a specific goal, and through that you learn about uh, creating a series of commands and about making sure that you're doing it most efficiently. And this would be, so you can see that there are different levels, and if we look at uh, the third level, in this case, you see that we have different commands, different directions, and then the goal right now is to get to that square, so we can walk one forward, and then pick up, I think, and then one more forward. Let's see if that works. Yep, that does not work. So we can try something else, maybe pick up first. And then we need to drop it, most likely. So we try this again. and the level is completed, so you learn how to direct those commands and solve the problems, and obviously this gets more and more complicated as things goes on, go on. So this one is called Fix the Factory Lego uh, app. The next two apps are apps that can be used in more versatile ways. One is the Lego Movie Maker, and in Lego Movie Maker, you can use your Lego creations to create a movie. And the way there are clear instructions, there is a movie gallery where you can see what others have done, so you can see an example of what other Legos, Lego movies uh, are around. You can see that they use the background, 
then they've used the stop animation to actually make a short movie. And I'm not using the, uh, the volume here on purpose. The important thing to remember is something like that is really an opportunity to work on the engineering side of things, work on the creativity side of things, work on literacy and creating the storyboard and creating the text that goes with that, and of course working on the media production side of things. So the app itself is very easy to use. If we go back and try to make a movie, you can see that you can edit that and then you can start after you have uh, the title, and I will not add my own title, you can see that you set up it with the figures or just with blocks, and then you take a picture for every movement, so they learn about stop animation, and they're able to actually produce their own movies. So this one is Lego Movie Creator. And the last one that I want to talk about is Lego Story Maker. This is from the Lego Friends series, which is at least uh, in the way Lego presents this, is more directed towards girls. And in this one, though boys can use it just as well, I think, uh, you can create a story based on Lego characters. You just go to New Stories. You can start with a cover page. You can tap to add a page. So let's add a page here. You can use a background. And you can see there are prepared backgrounds that are more Lego themed. But you can actually take your own picture and add uh, your own, uh, either something you've created in Lego, something you drew, or any real image that uh, you have. This is Lego High School. That's our setting. And we can actually use that to talk about setting. And uh, then we can add another building if we want. We can add the magic table and place it somewhere here. Um, we can then add characters. Let's add Andrew and Olivia. And now we have characters. You can add other artifacts to go with them. Let's say there's a laptop. I think that'll be appropriate. And then you can add other aspects as well, as well as text. And then you can record it with a voiceover. So you can write the page, and you can also record what the page says. You can add as many pages as you want to your story. And then when you're done, the stories can be saved on the device, but they can also be published to uh, iBooks. So this one is called Lego Friends Story Maker, and it's a great way to enhance literacy while working with something kids love. So today we talked about four different apps that use Lego in very different ways to teach things like engineering, technology, literacy, and uh, media production. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. <laughs>